Welcome to the SHA Podcast, presented by Direct West. Welcome back to the SHA Podcast, presented by Direct West. I'm your host, Jake Murray, and today we have a special NHL guest joining us. This defenseman was born in Regina and moved to Alberta at an early age, playing his minor hockey in Calgary. We are joined by Minnesota Wild's Matt Dumba. Thanks for joining us, Matt. Uh, thanks for having me. So Matt, let me start off with a huge congratulations on being chosen as the recipient for the King Clancy Memorial Award by the National Hockey League. For our listeners, the King Clancy Award is awarded to the person who exemplifies leadership qualities on and off the ice and who has made a significant humanitarian contribution to his community. So congratulations on that. Thank you. So let's start things off in Minnesota where you play. You're very much involved in Minnesota's community through charitable work at various levels. Can you explain why it's important to you to give back to the community that you play in? Um, I I think that's just something that my parents kind of instilled in me um, from when I was little. You know, um, know, if you were ever uh, in a situation where you could give back and and help out people, that's something that you did. so I've just carried that uh, through and uh, just the community and everyone who's supported me and, you know, shown me so much love um, in the in these uh, Twin Cities. Um, I just want to reciprocate that and show them that, uh, that I'm here for them as well. For sure. Now, as mentioned, you were born in Saskatchewan, but you grew up in Alberta as a minor hockey from a minor hockey perspective. What were some of the challenges that you faced uh, as a player growing up? Um, You know, I think one of them is just, you know, trying to fit in on a hockey team when you, um, you know, when you're little and, you know, being, uh, you know, one or two of kids with any color on the team. uh, That's a, you know, a sense of loneliness you feel when you do have to go through um, different things, such as, you know, getting called racial slurs on the ice um, and not knowing where to really go with that. Um, so I think that's a big reason why we started uh, the HGA and uh, are, are wanting to be very involved in, uh, you know, grassroots programs and the new generation of, of hockey fans and, and hockey players. Absolutely. Now, I want to get right into that topic because it's on everybody's mind and everybody's Twitter feeds. It's become a focal point of professional sports during the pandemic, and that's diversity in sport. Uh, recently, you and several other NHL players undertook the creation of the Hockey Diversity Alliance. I was wondering if you could provide a little bit of background on the HDA, how it was formed, and what are the goals of this organization? Um, yeah, we we formed, um, started talking to each other, and you know, uh, probably uh, May, I'd like to say, and. We just knew that there's a need for it and once you started talking to guys and uh, understanding what they had been through um, in the past and uh, hardships or struggles that they've you know their families have had to endure because of um, what lies um, kind of the rotten part uh, rotten part in hockey that still uh, still lies there but our, our mission is to um, eradicate racism from our game and what we want to do, uh, how we want to do that is through education, um, getting down to those grassroots levels, like I said, um, having more programs that um, can hopefully have more kids have access to the game. And that's really what we want to do is because, you know, hockey's given our families and and us so much, um, you know, we just want to spread and and share that wealth and uh, show people how great hockey can be. Absolutely. Now, of the major team sports, NHL, NBA, MLS, MLB made an extraordinary move and to boycott games and draw attention to social injustices being faced by more minorities. Why do you feel it was important for the NHL to take part in this demonstration? Uh, what I thought was so special about the NHL and how that uh, came uh, came to life is, um, you know, it was, it was completely player driven and the guys, um, the guys who were in the bubble took that stand. Um, and, and so I was, I was very proud of them and um, just seeing what they did uh, to shed light on it, especially coming from hockey and, and the NHL, where it's a you know, predominantly white league. I think that, does, you know, that, says, that says a lot. And for those guys to be willing to you know, listen and learn. And, you know, I talked to uh, our group, talked to um, a lot of players um, those days. 
and uh, it was just it was just awesome to you know share and share stories connect um, and just see where we go next for sure now to wrap things up i just wanted to ask you as minor hockey and those involved how do we or how can we improve on being more inclusive and welcoming for all community members regardless of skin color um it's just being able to you know break down uh some of the stereotypes that you know hockey hockey's carried uh for for so long um and i think just being able to have open uh conversations empathize for um uh, you know people of all all different backgrounds or you know economic status um uh, hockey's uh hockey's hockey pushes away a lot of kids each year because of um either racism or how, how expensive it is so i just think people to um you know open their hearts you know when they can when they can uh, provide a helping hand um do your best to you know support each other i i know if i didn't have the support of crow child uh, minor hockey association and pat lawton the owner of the rink uh, that would let my parents slide on payments register payments the uh, is, is nuts go to the hockey school uh, if I didn't have people like that around um, you know uh, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be here right now so um, there, there's little things I think we all can do for sure well Matt thank you for taking the time to help shed some light on an important issue both in our game and in our communities and congratulations once again on receiving the King Clancy Memorial Award we wish you nothing but the best and success and continue with your continued efforts promoting diversity in hockey thanks man really appreciate it this concludes another SHA podcast I'm your host Jake Murray and that was Matt Dumba talking diversity in hockey this has been an SHA podcast presented by Direct West.